hey welcome back today I'm gonna show you how to make a low carb chicken cordon bleu casserole that you're going to love with a rotisserie chicken that we saved stick around So here we go. First, we're gonna make the sauce. You need to melt some cream cheese and I will have the recipe down in the description below. Actually, it comes from a website, so I will just link that website to you. So you need some cream cheese and some melted butter. Kind of mix that in. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, melted butter, butter pops in the microwave, so had to get it out. Couldn't get it 100% melted. All right, so we're gonna mix this in together. Now, I, for me, I am about halving the uh, the meat, the I'm sorry, the ham and the chicken because I'm just making a smaller portion for us to have. We're gonna have this for lunch today. So there's part of that BLD, breakfast, lunch, and dinner thing because we need to eat because we're all home today. All right, so we're going to mix our butter and our um, cream cheese. And our next thing is some Dijon mustard. I'm not gonna use my, well, I guess I can. Ooh, I need to mix that up here. All right, so you just want a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. But what, I'm, what I was trying to say, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I'm double, I'm using this, the original amount of sauce for this because I just sometimes like the extra sauce in the smaller version. Because usually when I make the big one, I doubled the sauce because it's just really good. All right, so it said about an ounce of lemon juice. I'm just kind of eyeballing it because it is what it is. And you you can always taste your food here. And it says to add a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna do a little bit because that ham has enough salt in it for me. All right, so this is what you do. All you do is just mix this together and then I'm gonna spray my pan here. And I'm going to put in the chicken. And the cut up ham. I just put it in there. And just kind of mix it up. And then I'm gonna put this sauce in there and just kind of mix it in a little bit. I guess I could have put the stuff in the in the bowl mixed it, but whatever. We'll just roll with it today. So just put your mixture in there and mix it up. Real simple, real easy. It's great to have pre-cooked chicken um, in your fridge you know, or, and then just shut it up and put it in your freezer. That's what I did with the other ones because I'm just not gonna get to all of them. <laughs> but when I need them, they're there and we will make that meal, or meals that we need. All right, yeah, let's, like, I'd suggest just to mix that in the bowl, but it works. All right, it will all be good. See how much, I mean, the sauce just doesn't really cover. So <laughs> that's why I do double of the sauce I'm gonna make the full recipe. Okay, so the next thing we add is Swiss cheese on the top. Simple, simple. I have a few little slices here, and then I'm gonna have to shred some. So we'll just put those on there, and then we will shred the cheese. It has lots of cheese in here. I don't know if a lot of you know, probably don't know this, but I have a a dairy intolerance and I truly cannot this is this casserole is delicious but I can't eat too much of it so that's why I don't make a big one anymore I really don't eat much of it because I have to be careful with the dairy but other people in my family will eat it just fine so here we go all I have to do is just bake this and we'll show you what it looks like okay so we're gonna let that bake for about 25 maybe 30 minutes till it's nice and bubbly and golden brown but while we're doing that i'm waiting for that i'm gonna do my dishes yes i did get the dishwasher 
fixed. We got it all clean and put back together. Here we go. There is our casserole. All right, so let's, I'm just gonna use a spoon. Okay, let's just use a spoon here. It's really warm. I made a nice little salad. Oh, it's so good. It's gonna be really warm. You put that on, this is a really great, easy, low carb, high protein, <laughs> meal that you can have. Let's give it a try. Let me try here. Remember it has the cream cheese, ham, that rotisserie chicken. Oh, it's got the Dijon mustard in there. Swiss cheese. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so hot, so hot. Mm-mm-mm. So delicious. It's so delicious. Without that fuss of making I think you bread them and filling the chicken breasts just gives you this gives you the flavors of chicken corn on blue it has that all without the breading and it's low carb i hope you have a great day mm, enjoy mm, 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 mm.